Michael, it's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Today, Benjamin Linus on Lost. I do. And I'm very curious to know, what's a typical day like on the set of Lost? Well, we get up really early, and we usually have to travel to a remote location. Then it's a game of hurry up and wait all day. I mean, it takes a long time, particularly with my character, to get the makeup on to look like I'm beaten and bloodied. And then we just work our way through the material very slowly and with a great deal of repetition and a lot of waiting around. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Is everything all right? Listen, we don't have much time. I've been uh, sidetracked, and I need you to pick up Locke's body and take it to the airport. The coffin is at Simon's Butcher Shop. Corner of Grand and Hayes. <sighs> Why? W what's happened to you? Just do it, please. To be completely honest, your character on the show gives me the chills. I so understand. On, on a lighter note, uh, what's the funniest thing that has ever happened on set? Well, I mean, we, we crack up a lot on set because we're, we're so often in such, we find ourselves in such dire and dramatic circumstances. And, yeah. But sometimes those circumstances are just a hair's breadth away from being silly at the same time. And so once you get laughing, it's, it's then really hard to stop and go on with the work. Thank you for not closing it. Oh, that's OK. Right on in. Thanks. Wait, what's he doing here? Early. Hey. No, no, he can't come. If you want to get back, this is how it's going to have to be. No one told me he was going to be here. Who told you to be here, Hugo? Is everything OK? Yes. Yes, everything's fine. Right? Yes, Jack, I'll be fine. What's that, Jack? Nothing. And the other people on this plane, what's going to happen to them? Who cares? At one point in your career, you doubted acting. And uh, what was the sign that made you want to pull through and continue and push with it? I, I did another line of work for yes. many years. But I think it was always in my heart. And all I had to do was get on stage once oh, to wow. know that this was where I belonged. How can you read? My mother taught me. I can read, Jack, because it beats what you're doing. What's that? Waiting for something to happen. How would you describe your show in three words? Lost in three words. Speculative science fiction romance. <laughs> nice. And okay, so when you're at home relaxing, what shows do you watch? Um, we watch Battlestar Galactica. Nice. I have, in the past, I've watched all of Deadwood, all of The Wire. I like a serial drama. What are your hobbies? I'm, I'm not a man with a lot of hobbies, uh -huh. to tell you the truth. I, I, I read a lot, and I walk a lot, and I go to plays a lot. Who are you closest to on set? Like, of all the cast, it's a very big cast on Lost. Sure. So who do you find yourself closest to off, off, uh, off set? You know, half of the people on Lost I've never worked with. Oh, wow. You know, you just don't always, you're not necessarily in their storyline. But I, I get along very well with Terry O'Quinn. I, I think because we are actors of similar ages and similar working styles. And because the material they write for us is always so strong that um, it's always a good day. It's a good day's work. You can't do this. If anything happens to you, John, you have no idea how important you are. Let me help you. I wish you continued success, and the show is amazing, and all the best. Thank you. The nice best. talking to Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Not at all. Where are you going? Oh, I made a promise to an old friend of mine. Just a loose end that needs tying up. See you at the airport, Jack.